Hello everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Rosina, but you can also call me Femme. Um, as you guys already know from my previous video, I went on a small trip to China and it was so much fun. I had inspiration from everywhere, from the streets, from the bridges, stone basins, parks. And in the last video, I made four illustrations inspired from a park nearby where I was living and in this video it's I'm going to do something similar um, it's more small pieces uh, in comparison to the last one I'm making stone basins and these stone basins were everywhere they were on the street almost every shop had at least one stone basin most of them have like had about three to four stone basins and they had like a small terrarium open terrarium on top of the stone basin some cookie damas as well it was so nice and i was all i wanted was to come back and make the stone basin um not just paint it but actually have a stone basin in my home so that's what i'm drawing right here and I'm, and interestingly i'm actually using uh sort of like a damaged brush just to sort of give me that scratchy texture which I'm really proud about um, and yeah I had a lot of fun drawing this illustration it was just a small sketch that I did I uh, I'll also be doing another stone piece and sketch at the end of the video and I'll be walking you guys through the streets of Tengdu the things I saw um, the inspirations I got and I'll also be taking one of the compositions that I really, really fell in love with and redrawing it in a more of a fantasy kind of setting. Anywho, I'll keep that as a surprise for you guys later. I know this illustration isn't the cleanest. I kind of wanted to keep it a little rough and just sort of like a concept that I wanted to make. Didn't want to spend too much time making this illustration. I just wanted to capture what I was feeling right away as soon as possible. And I'm really proud of it, to be honest. It was, there are a lot of things I could fix here. For example, the weird perspective of the stone basin. But, but, I, but I'm quite proud of the foliage that I made here. I think the shape is nice. Um, and, and yeah, um, I kind of want to make more of these kind of illustrations in the future.
So this illustration is kind of a weird one. Um, I don't know exactly why I was inspired to do this. It was probably the place in my life that I was in and sort of the books that I was reading and the things that I was listening to on YouTube. I think that's, what's in that's what inspired me to make this illustration. It's kind of weird, so um, I'm a little skeptical, but I hope you guys like it. So how it came about this was there was a dog on the street wearing a raincoat. It was so cute. And I thought to myself, okay, whichever shop this dog lives in, I'm going to go in that shop to shop and shop to shop. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, and he went inside this cute calligraphy paint shop and um, he was such a good boy. The owner was really nice as well. And I went in there and there were brushes everywhere and they kind of reminded me of wands to be honest and maybe that's because i was listening to um the carlin brothers uh harry potter theories and stuff like that and i'm actually rereading the harry potter books again sort of for some research for my webtoon and stuff um and yeah the the shop that i was in kind of felt like ollivander's uh wand store am i saying that right ollivander's anywho and there were parchment everywhere uh, there was there was like this rack stacked with parchment and there was ink and those stone gargoyle looking things where you just uh, used to like mix colors and stuff I think and it just gave me like a really old school vibe very magical apothecary kind of vibe because there were a lot of crystals and trinkets and I think I was sort of in like a vintage store because I also ended up buying a lot of prints like vintage prints for my uh, studio and yeah I think I just got that vibe so I decided I want to do a Harry Potter themed illustration so this is Harry Potter in China I guess um, I know it sounds really weird but I thoroughly enjoyed drawing this I don't think I did the best job in showing this as a magical place but I wanted to add some low-key things like the signboard sort of having a wand or a broomstick or um, cauldrons and astronomy uh, symbols and stuff like that and I also had this cat with a witch's hat um, which I thought was cute there were a lot of cats in China a lot of cats just a lot of stray cats actually there's Harry holding Hedwig and Hagrid sort of showing diagonally I guess but because I guess that's sort of how I felt walking on the streets there it was like a new place I got this magical vibe as I was going through these streets
Thank you so so much for staying till the end of the video i hope you guys really enjoyed it and if you guys want to hang out and make friends and talk to me and uh, send your own illustrations and your own art for just sharing or if you guys want any critiques and stuff like that we have a small discord channel i'll have the link in the description below and i've started to stream my illustrations and my webtoon every thursday kind of have a chat uh, things related to art or our work processes or just life in general please like and subscribe if you like the video see you in the next video have a good one bye